So in today's video, I'd like to share with you something a little bit different. This is going to be a vlog style video looking at a day in the life of a university student, aka myself. And I do apologise if I sound and look grotty. I just students aren't supposed to be awake at 7 a.m. in the morning. It's not in our nature. So I think a lot of you guys know that I am a student at university, but I don't know if you know what I study specifically. I do a BA honours degree in media production, and as you can imagine, university it is really busy, and that's just really in heightened with the final year of study. But that's part of the course of the university. It's going to be busy, but at the same time, you also get a lot of free time. So I made the most of that by making this type of content. But recently, my focus has actually shifted away from university and what I'm going to be doing afterwards. And I've got some ideas, I've got some plans. I just need to make things happen. Today is one of those mornings when you realise that you are running out of a ton of food. You're running out of like stuff like apple juice. I'm addicted to this stuff. Um, cereal. I don't usually have Rice Krispies. It's usually shreddies or something like that in the morning. But but I'll speak a little bit later about university a little bit more about my experiences and everything like that. But university is starting soon and we need to be kicking on. Um, it doesn't start to like another half an hour, but we've got B-rolls to film and I've got more presenting to camera to do to tell you why I'm actually going on university campus today. So the reason I'm on campus today is I've got my first practical in 2021. Finally back on campus, finally actually doing some physical in-person lessons. It's the best way I learn as well. I learn doing hands-on rather than like researching theory or anything like that. Because as well recently we're working on a studio production and I'm working as a director with an absolute awesome crew on this quiz show idea. And I'm gonna tell you the idea, but you gotta promise not to share it with anyone. The idea is basically really simple premise, isn't it? It sounds so good and anyone can interact with it. It's so good. Oh, and the name of the show is Guestimate. Okay, so we've been doing some rehearsals for our studio show. This is Studio One, this is the gallery we've got right here. If we have a look here, we've got stuff like the cameras, so we can cut to the different cameras. We didn't have VT films, so there's something here about Guy Fawkes or something like that. And then we can monitor everything from here. We can monitor like the waves, the audio, everything all right here. And then if we go through here, we have got the main floor. We've got all the cameras right here. And let me show you one of the cameras we've got. So we're using these uh, Canon XF305s. A lot of buttons, a lot of dials, half of which even I don't know what they do. Uh, the main ones though are like the zoom, so we can zoom in and out of shot. We then have like focus somewhere. I don't know where we have focus, but it, for example, this would be our wide camera one. We then have the contestants camera over there and then we'd have the presenters camera over there. It's a pretty neat setup to be fair. And then we've got the green screen right here. So I could literally be anywhere right now 
but we've decided this isn't going to be the best space for our particular studio show because it is curved and because of social distancing we need a bit of a larger space so we're going to our next area planning things out going through details to ensure we've got everything ready for when we can do the show so we're currently just discussing through our studio plans and where we're positioning all the cameras in this new studio i'll catch up with you guys later <laughs> So this is where we're going to be filming our quiz show instead we decided this space would be a lot better because we have more flexibility on where we could put the presenter the contestants right here and also the cameras right here we have a lot more play with all those things and i can actually show you what the effect might look like this is just an example um we're going to probably be doing it in post because it'll be a lot easier so if we go up to here this is the gallery this is our smaller gallery uh, right there on this screen we can see how it looks that's actually a jeremy cowell template and it looks really good from actually how it actually looks up close so yeah hopefully we're going to be able to make that look stellar but there isn't anything else i need to do in uni today next week it will be the actual rehearsals and in a few weeks time we will finish up and film the project and hopefully it'll be fantastic it's a really good idea got amazing people working on it and I can't wait for the final thing. Also, how good would it be if I had all this space to like film YouTube videos? That would be ace. But yeah, that's everything sorted. I think we can start heading home and to head home, I actually want to try something. We can be anywhere right now on this green screen. So let's pop to New York City. Let's go to Iceland. Let's go to Tokyo. And now let's go home. Okay, so that effect probably definitely didn't work. I bet it looked pretty goofy, not gonna lie. Okay, so I'm gonna share with you now my experiences at university. Now, university has been really good. I have enjoyed it, my first two years anyway. The last year, I haven't enjoyed, and that's because of COVID. Now, that's really not the university's fault. There's not a lot they could do about that. There's a lot of politics within the statement I just made there. I'm not even going to try and like delve into that whole nest of snakes because that is that is a pit I won't get out of alive. But yeah, it still remains I haven't enjoyed my final year. There's a lot of things I think I've missed out on. And it is a bit of a piss take that you still pay £9,000 a year. And again, I'm not even going to go about the money side of things because I have a lot of disagreements there as well. But the main thing about photography, filmmaking... I haven't learned it all at university. I would say most of what I've learned has come from three places. YouTube, primarily. This platform right here has been where I have learned so much of what I know right now and where I continue to learn new things. And also practice making videos like this. I mean, I don't even like the lighting right now. It looks absolutely atrocious. But there isn't much I can do about that, to be fair. But even things like that. How I've lit my videos in the past to how I like them now is very different. My style, my approach, my confidence has all grown because of practice and because I have a passion and love and drive for something. And I think that's what you need. At university, you need that love, you need that drive for something. And I know in the future, I want to move on to better and greater things. I want to keep improving. I want to keep just getting better and sharing that with you guys. I feel like I'm in a really unique opportunity as a student uh, that you will see the progression hopefully that I will be making over the next year. So university is not going to teach you everything. In the field, that's where you learn. That's where the real learning comes into place. I did a week uh, of work with the BBC as a runner. I learned more with that week than I did at a whole year of university. And I'm not even joking because you're working with professionals, you can ask questions, you know, go in there like, they, they're expecting you to ask questions and learn and be intrigued by things. Now, I don't know what I'm gonna be doing after university, that's what I'm really ultimately looking for, but I know I wanna work with cameras on anything because I just love using cameras, I love capturing moments and I love sharing stories. That's my passion is to share more stories and go on more journeys myself. I think I went 
on a bit of a tangent, but uh, hopefully you enjoyed that. It gives you a bit of a insight, hopefully, into me and my mindset. So you will enjoy university somewhat. You will be stressed out. You will hate it sometimes. You will love it sometimes. You'll meet new people. You'll meet less likable people, I'll say. But at the end of it, if you enjoy it, you enjoy it, and I have enjoyed it. And I will continue to enjoy it until I leave. I'm just in like 50 grand worth of debt now. <laughs> so I'm going to be leaving the video right there. I don't want to be dragging it on any longer than it needs to be. And I think this video is quite lengthy already. And if you have made it to this part, that is fantastic. I really do appreciate it. And it would be great as well since this is like the first vlog I've done since the resurgence of my channel. To hear any feedback. What you liked, what you didn't like, what you'd like to see me in corporate. Maybe things you'd like to see me speak about in the future. I'm open and it would be great to hear what you guys thought of this video. And if you did like it as well, make sure you hit the like button. Maybe consider subscribing to the channel if you're not already. It would be great to have you on board. And the last thing to say is thank you for watching, everyone. Have a great week. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.